Um, and we're going to have to take a question or two from Prime Sports Media as we're still up on this thing. Oh, now. What's happening? Hey, what's, what's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on, Uncle Neely? I've been ch- I've, on, I check bro? you. I check you out all the time and stuff. Hey, I have some. I have some uh, legitimate questions to ask here. Um, we know everything you all said was facts. That there's so many nuances to football. There's so many things that if they go wrong, it can affect everything like a domino effect. Um, I know everybody's coming down. I'll see you like, oh, this the world is falling. This is one game that they're going to learn from. But the thing that I'm concerned about is the time of possession Uh, because they have such a powerful receiving core. They can score very quickly. I'm very concerned about time of possession because once again, in this game, Nebraska was able to control some of the time of possession. And maybe that's because of the fact that um, running the ball, if they can get the running game into effect, maybe, uh, you know, get some other backs in there, Hayden, give him more opportunity. He showed some light there. Uh, to mix it up a little bit so they, they don't seem so one-dimensional to to their opponents, uh, Uncle Neil. What do you think about that as a first question? Well, this is what I'm going to think about that. I'm going to tip my hat to you <laughs> because <laughs> that you. is that is spot on. One of the things when I talk about the run game is that's why you need the run game. When you look at week one and we had about 450-something yards in, in total offense, You don't need the run game for more yards. You need the run game for control of the ball and the clock because the longer we have the ball, the least amount of time they have the ball. And that's one of the things that teams are doing when they're running the ball is that they know my only chance is I got to keep Shador Sanders on the bench over there. Yes. I got to keep him and his weapons on the bench over there. So let me do a slow, methodical scoring system where there have been times that we did in North Dakota State. Man, we went out there and scored in 40 seconds. Mm-hmm. You know, and so not mm-hmm. only do the other team get the get the ball right back, you put your defense right back out there. Okay. And so having a run game to complement this prolific pass game is what's needed because of clock control, not necessarily yardage, not yes. necessarily scoring. We yes, got sir. yardage, we got scoring. We need to be able to control the clock. Hmm. Very powerful. I just want to ask one more question so y'all can get back to your regular show. Um, the offensive line. Um, I don't think that the offensive line is as bad as last year. See, we got to have a larger uh, uh, sample size. We don't have a large sample size, right? But this is my concern. Uh, if I'm not, mis- if I'm wrong, correct me, brother. Um, Tyler Brown, if I'm not mistaken, when he was with uh, Coach Prime and um, and Jackson State, and I had um, someone in my in my channel bring this up, he was really a center and maybe I guess a guard. They've got yeah. him playing right tackle. And then you've got, if I'm saying the name right, Khalid Benson, who came over from Indiana. He actually, when he was at Indiana, I think he played on the tackle spot. Usually you want your tackles to be a little bit taller. Um, but this is the question to get to the point. Do you think that they may be playing out of their natural positions and that could have an impact when they go up against better teams? What we what we witnessed this past Saturday, because they're playing a little out of their natural position. Maybe I'm wrong, brother. You know more than I do. When, when you say natural, if you mean the positions that they came into this program accustomed to, then I would agree with you. Okay. Uh, what they have done this summer is spend a good amount of time uh, cross-training uh, okay. and playing at other positions on the line. What I'm telling you, because I agree with your sample size, which is my why I haven't pushed the panty button. Okay. We, we played two games. We won one where we came back from behind at halftime and, and won the game. And we lost another on the road to a, to a longtime rival in a hostile environment that just got away from us early. When mm-hmm. I look at those two sample sizes, yes, I've said, and Chico will tell, tell y'all this, I have said all summer long that this line is going to be flipped around as this season goes on, that there's going to be guys that you haven't even seen yet that are going to get on the field because the matchup is more favorable. And okay. I, I agree with you saying you do want your tackles to be longer armed, you know, and to be taller guys. Uh, and get their hands out there. So uh, I'm, I I really believe that even this coming week in Colorado State, you're going to see some different plugging and playing out there. Okay. Because these, these coaches ain't ain't crazy. Like, they hear the win. Uh, they're not going to keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Right. And I don't think Coach Phil, with his NFL experience, I could see on the sideline that he wasn't happy. And um, I, I'm hoping that, you know, you probably know what's going on in the inside more than most of us, but I'm hoping that that they 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 keep their heads up. They don't let what happened out there on the field this past Saturday 
cause them to have doubt about their abilities. And I think that they can right that wrong against CSU uh, this weekend, this upcoming week. And uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Thank you, uh, Big, uh, Big Dog Chico, for letting me come on, brother, sending me the link. I'm glad to be able to speak to, you know, brother, uh, uncle, uh, Neely. I've been watching you, you know, on the YouTube streets as well. And uh, great points it's that rough, you all bring up. It's YouTube streets, man. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> you, keep, you keep doing your thing out there as well. And I uh, appreciate your questions and, and the thought behind them. Uh, it's just no time for the panic but man. It's week two. Okay. Thank you, brother. Take care. <laughs> But I appreciate, bro, uh, with Prime Sports Media. We also did the uh, Prime Economics where we talk about, you know, the things and the economics and the uh, cash flow and the, all the good things that Coach Prime has done for the community and everywhere he's touched. So, hey, we got a, a lot of that out of our system, allowing you guys to come on here and uh, vent and say what you had to say. So I think at this point we can – kind of move on you know what i mean hey, let me tell you this, let me tell you this, uh, other other than film review the good bad the ugly and lessons learned the team has moved on to colorado state right that's what i'm saying i was i was getting to that yeah. i was getting to that so that's what the team and the coaching staff is doing we're, we're on to the next one like the jay-z song on to the, you know what i mean so on, on to the next <laughs> we're back we're on to the ocho so shannon and everybody else dog y'all hey if y'all jumping off the ship and panicking you know what I mean? Us, myself, Uncle Neely, and Little La Prime, we here to stay, dog. We up in here. Shouts out to Goonsville Clothing and everybody else who checked in. Hey, Little Little getting too hard to say. Little Little getting too hard to say, man, from a Mississippi accent. I think I'm going to say LL Prime. LL Prime. Little, what, what is LL? Little Lil. <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little. Little, <laughs> but as we say it, little, little. I thought you were saying little, littler, like like a new word, little. No, 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 oh, not li little, little, little. Littler works too, but little, little. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, Chico, Chico, you you from that SL, but like, you know when we mean <laughs> when we mean some, what do we do? We say it twice. We say it twice, and we say it you, together. You uh, then. you know, you know, Black Tony, Black Black Tony, Black Black Tony. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. We always yeah. describe some. Hey man, hey man, you, 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 you think I'm you think I'm musty? Well, you ain't musty, musty. musty. You, <laughs> <laughs> I say it twice, man. That's yeah, little. You ain't musty, musty. Little, little, little. I can't even say it right See, now. That's why I say it. Go LL. LL five, dog. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the uh subject, man. Shout out to Selma, Alabama. For sure, you know, I already know we repping 27 SEL Jackson, Mississippi, up in this thing, and everybody Brandon. checking in. Put your city and your yeah. state in the yeah, chat we, right we, now. Yeah, so we we, we, we talk about nothing from Nebraska. Where y'all from? Put drop, drop, drop where you're from in the chat. Go on, bite, die like a 